when most people think of comics, they think of the Sunday comic strips. And even if some of the comic strips in the Sunday paper are a little more adult, they still don't see it as something that they would spend their time on. My thesis was titled, No One Wants to Hear Such Stories Anyways, um, exploring immigration, identity, and isolation in Maos and Vietnam America. Well, why? Why are we studying these children's stories? Why are we as academics bothering to study these? Well, the great thing is, is that graphic memoirs use a lot of the same techniques that other literary works use. Um, they use issues of symbolism and motifs and themes, but they of course do it in a different way. Not only do we have the dialogue and the written part of the story, but now we have the image. And so now we get to really see the author's intended way of viewing their experiences. And in many ways, it really creates a new response to the work. Sometimes when people read a book, they enjoy it, but you know, when they put it away, it no longer sticks in their head. But of course, uh, with images being so visual, they tend to stay with us much longer and create a much more emotional effect than sometimes just text can do. Reading comics is a different kind of literacy. It requires a different skill set when reading. It is something that uh, the industry is, is constantly uh, trying to fight. But I think the more work that we do, the more work that scholars uh, put on the table, the more we're starting to change that idea. The research really started with me just being interested in graphic memoirs specifically and wanting to bring attention to a graphic memoir that really hadn't been explored yet, and that is Vietnam America, A Family's Journey by G.B. Tran. I started with Mouse, which is really a graphic memoir that just started the whole trend of using graphic memoirs to explore war and issues of identity, and then I compared it with this new graphic memoir, Vietnam America. Both feature stories where the protagonist is in search of his family story, and it's a story that is very connected to war trauma, whether it's at the level of World War II or it's Vietnam. Uh, and so Valerie was looking at how those stories using the comics medium uh, told those stories, engaged in ideas in, in what it means to come to America and to rediscover a part of your past. We are still giving these to children, but perhaps that's one of the great things about graphic memoirs is, you know, in some ways they're more accessible than the regular literature that we might be handing out. Um, and certainly they are very impactful with their images. With a generation that's so used to the visual image, I think that in some ways the graphic memoir, the graphic novel really appeals to this younger demographic. I applaud Valerie for her courage to do this project. Because comics have this shadow that lingers over them. Graphic memoirs right now is kind of an emerging field. We're still trying to figure out how do we as English scholars focus on the image. So it's, it's definitely been a challenge and certainly not everybody in the literature world agrees with us studying graphic memoirs. But both myself and my advisor really believe that they're an important part of our, our literature canon.